ride quality. What is it? I thought a lot about ride quality while I was recently riding my bike across Georgia. There were some pretty rough paved roads and I thought to myself, man, these 25 tires would be better if they were bigger. A long time ago, I had this idea like you could put a phone on, cause phones have accelerometers and you could use your phone as like a, a data collecting device and you could measure how many vibrations, how much vibrations goes through your bike. And I thought that'd be really interesting, but I didn't do that. And that was a long, long time ago. And I realized that it would be really easy. I did it yesterday. I tried it with a very simple idea. See, I took my phone and I put it in my back pocket recording how much, uh, how many meters per second of acceleration. And I went on a little test lot ride. I did the test on this bike, my tarmac. I just dropped my phone in my back pocket and I rode this like two minute rough brick course with lots and lots of big bumps. And then I did the test again on this bike with a 32 tire and a heavy lug steel frame. And I thought 60 pounds of air in the tires. I was expecting to see a huge difference. What I actually found kind of blew my mind. The tarmac had a better score it actually had less meters per second than on average than this one. And I performed the test twice and I got the same results both times. And I couldn't quite figure that out at first, and, but it feels much more comfortable on the bricks, like the tires absorb the bumps, but it doesn't really feel much different on the big bumps. In fact, it kind of felt worse. See, my tarmac has like a special carbon, uh, cool you know like bump absorbing Roubaix seat post whereas this just has a steel seat post so my the, the my conclusion or my guess my hypothesis here is that the my body's really absorbing most of the actual road buzz and most of the actual vibrations before they even get to where my phone was sitting in my pocket on my back and I know this isn't scientific but you know, because I love science, I thought I would try it again. This time, I'm going to mount the phone to a phone case and on the handlebars and do the same thing again, record data and see what I get. For this test, I threw in my CAD 9 just to try three different bikes and see. Um, of the three different bikes, the only one that felt different was this one. And it's got to just be those huge tires. The only place, after really thinking about it hard, the only place that it really feels different is the little small kind of bumps between the cobbles, between the stones, the bricks. You don't really feel them on this bike, whereas you definitely feel them on the other two with the 25s with 100 pounds of pressure. These 32s with like 65 uh, just kind of absorb that. So I'm really looking forward to see what the data shows let's go check it out wow the pocket test so this is with the phone sitting in the back of my pocket you can see that on average the tarmac and the basso were really close just almost the same so your body's doing most of the absorption but look at the difference between max either i just hit a really big bump on the basso that i didn't hit on the tarmac or maybe that tarmac's uh, Roubaix seat post with the uh, Zertz inserts and design the flex really took a lot of bump off. I can't believe it would take that much. So I would say on, uh, but I've got to believe that, you know, with the bigger tires and stuff, that seat post was making a big difference. I should have done this test again with the CAD 9 just to see another road bike. So now with the handlebar test, the phones mounted to the handlebar, we can see pretty much what I would expect. The tarmac had the worst vibration dampening uh, at 13.69 meters per second. Maxes are pretty similar across the entire board here. The CAD 9 is a little bit better and probably the reason why the CAD 9 is better is I have a Synapse front fork on this CAD 9. That Synapse front fork has got some uh, bump absorbing properties kind of caked in, booked, uh, cooked into the carbon and then the bazo has 
little better numbers for bump absorption with its bigger tires. I was actually surprised though it wasn't much better. Finally, just to wrap this up, I just want to talk about my perceived ride quality. To me, it felt like the Tarmac was the harshest riding bike in the middle of the test. The Basso was smooth and probably the quietest and smoothest on the small bumps. But the CAD 9 actually felt the smoothest overall. I remember thinking at the end, wow, that was really a soft ride on the tests I did with it. And I think the reason why is because it has that Synapse front fork and especially a Brooks uh, C17 saddle, which has got a lot of, uh, you know, it's a rubber saddle. It's got a lot of bump absorption built into it. So I think ultimately my takeaway is that, you know, what's really important probably in this kind of thing is um, how your bike feels, your saddle, handlebar tape, things like a fork can make a really big difference. Um, tires, of course, probably help a lot with and, and I was just really surprised they didn't help as much uh, 32 is a pretty big tire compared to a 25 but it didn't seem to make as big a difference as I thought it would all right that's the test see you later